with journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, before I go any further, as always, I want to be sure and thank all my patrons who support me on Patreon and make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, my awesome patrons. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, what I wanted to talk to you about today is I am getting ready to start a serious no spin slash no spend period <laughs> of time. It's going to start on August the 15th and go all the way until our family goes on a trip with my husband's whole side of his family, like everybody, children, grandchildren, husbands, wives, all great grandchildren are all going to Hawaii uh, at the end of June. And so I am doing a low spin, no spin. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that here in a second. From August 15th until June, whatever, forgot what day we're leaving at the end of June. And so there's an, uh, a reason for that. One is my husband is now stepping out in full-time entrepreneurship, just like me, which I am so proud of him for doing. He has been doing tutoring. He's a math whiz and he's been doing tutoring on the side or is like a, you know, second sort of business uh, the whole time I've known him and well before that and now he is going to be doing it full time I fully support him in fact I really encouraged him to do that so he's opened up his LLC and it's just I'm so happy for him but we do still have two kids in college they're graduating in May thank goodness and uh, we own a home still in Oklahoma we have tenants there which helps us pay for the rent where we're living in an apartment here until that lease ends and we sell it but I just really wanted to and we're you know we're fine we have military retirement for him and disability for both of us from the military we're fine but you know that is still money that we had that we don't have now and we really wanted or I really wanted to contribute to fully supporting him becoming a full-time entrepreneur I wanted to do whatever I could to show my support and give my support and to cut back uh, we've actually cut back in this way once before whenever I left my federal job like I finished my time in the Navy and then I was a federal employee uh, for the Department of Defense for 11 years and I was making I was a GS 12 step 4 and at the time I was making $76,000 a year and my husband agreed to let me leave that job which was so stressful for me and so we cut back and so we've done that before but this time it's a little bit different because I am not only well I don't need to I've learned some other things let's put it that way so then when we did it I um, when we did it back then we changed our cell phones so like we all had like iPhones and we went to like a basic phone that didn't even do video or anything like that we did that we did um, I never bought any paper towel towels or plastic bags or um, napkins you know we just reuse the really good strong plastic that like nuts and things like that come from in the stores actually they're really good bags we use that we use like um, you know towels that we can reuse and rewash things like that we did everything to cut down everything that we could because we still at that time we, we were just a year married we still had the house that I had um, owned before we got together and we had issues with a couple of different people who were supposed to buy the house and then didn't and so we <laughs> we weren't able to get the house sold right away so when I when I left my job we still had that house so that was part of it too but we did sell that a few months after I left my job and um, so what's different is I wasn't as much of a planner addict at that time as I am now and so that's something that's different that is factored into it so I'll kind of give you an idea of what I how I'm approaching it with that respect so I know the different things to do that are just household things saving on gas saving on spending going out and all that kind of stuff 
but I love, love, love planner supplies and art supplies. And, you know, of course I have a business that's related to that. So, and I, I realized that you should never cut out absolutely every dollar, even Dave Ramsey t touches on that. You need a little bit of money, just a little bit, whatever you can budget to be able to do a couple of things here and there, you know. And so um, this is kind of the way I want to approach that. My husband and I are going to be meeting. He's one of my accountability partners. I asked him to be and I wanted to present or discuss with him kind of a plan of action for my no spin, low spin. And then I'm going to ask my friend Nawasa, and hope you, hopefully you're watching my video. You usually watch all my videos, Nawasa, to be an accountability partner for me as well. She is like a professional accountability partner. She is so awesome. And then my uh, sponsor for Celebrate Recovery, if you're not familiar with my channel, I completed therapy for PTSD through the VA. And so I continue to stay healthy and talk about my trauma and all those different things through Celebrate Recovery, which is every Friday uh, for us. And my husband and I are actually transitioning to be the leaders at our church for Celebrate Recovery. And so I have a sponsor um, and I'm going to ask her to uh, be an accountability partner. Now, she hasn't said yes yet. Nawasa hasn't said yes yet. But I really believe strongly in having accountability partners. They really help you stay on track. They ask you questions. They challenge you when you try to justify something and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing on that, again, is I'm going to be confirming my accountability partners presenting uh, to my husband and getting on the same page about the strategy um, and then I'm going to be tracking it so I have this traveler's notebook that I made I did a video on it from Dollar Tree placemats it's really really cute it's adorable I love it but I have not used it it's so cute but I haven't used it so I'm gonna be tracking and putting uh, I'll be tracking things in my bullet journal like I always do but I'm gonna be putting down different ideas and different ways to save money and still enjoy different things. Uh, even though I know a lot from previous experience, there's always something when I watch other YouTube videos that I either hadn't thought about or forgot about. So I'm gonna be doing that. So yes, count, meeting with my husband, accountability partners, tracking it, and then this is kind of, in general, what I'm gonna present to my husband that I think might work for me. And so um, I want to not spend money on decor those kind of things that I would normally spend money on I'm not gonna buy any of those things so I made sure that anything that I felt like we needed like my kids needed a couple of pillows I bought those we needed to get a steam cleaner for the um, vacuuming every year of the apartment till we hopefully move out next year um, so I got that at a really good price amazingly and um, anything that like rugs to try to keep the carpet more clean anything that I felt like we needed that couldn't didn't need to wait that was important to me that I wouldn't be tempted to want to buy later then I got that and you guys know I'm really frugal I shop every other Saturday normally at the half off sales at Goodwill so don't think I went and spent a lot of money because you know I don't I do spend money on things that matter like you know when you buy things like a bed I'm gonna get a new mattress that fits what my body needs I is pillows are important to me I don't get the cheap pillows stuff like that you know but anything else clothes you know I'm a thrift store shopper big time that's that's what I do so uh, I took care of things that I felt like we needed to take care of so I'll present that to him and then I'm thinking so we like to go to the movies but we definitely can't be doing that all the time we can eat popcorn before we go or after we get home uh, and only go like once a month so we are members of AMC and we'll do AMC every Tuesday no matter what time day or night the movies are five dollars for AMC rewards members Now I'm not talking about the premier rewards people get confused about that premier rewards is like twenty dollars a month and I'm not paying for that so we pay like twenty dollars a year for AMC and with that you get birthday perks and you get uh, free viewings if you pay attention to your emails they'll say hey this movie will be free on this day sign up now while there's seats available so we can go to free movies and then every Tuesday the movies are all five dollars sometimes they have specials with five dollar popcorn so maybe we'll do that but I'll talk to him about that so we can go to the movies every month once a month spend ten dollars that'll save 
a lot. I used to go to the library a lot before and I hadn't been doing it lately, but I do have a library card and I used to use all the resources there. So here in this part of, the, of Phoenix, they don't have like one metro card that you can use at all of the different suburbs like they do in Oklahoma City. They have, you have to go to each one. So I got a card at each of the libraries. You can read books, uh, download books and read them for free. Everything you can check out is for free. You can get, you'd be amazed at how many items you can get and check out there. So like Lion King, I wanted to see that again before the movie, uh, before I see the big, the new movie with the live characters. Um, and so it was checked out, but it's due back in two days. And uh, the old, you know, the cartoon ones due back in two days and no one else was on hold. So I put me on there to get it as soon as it comes in. So that way I didn't have to go pay online or something. Cause normally I would spend like $3.99 to watch it on YouTube or something. So that will be free. And then I can spend $10 with my husband to go see the live one. So that's uh, one thing. So, you know, only go to the movies once a month, spend $10 eat popcorn and stuff at home um, another thing is I need to so like I said you need to have a little bit of something to spend so I'm a, a business owner with Etsy and YouTube and patreon and I need to support other people who do those same things so I can't like not support anyone out there and want them to support me so I was thinking I can do maybe like ten dollars and we'll talk about how much ten dollars a month is my budget from for that for me personally now I have a budget for my business account but for me personally, then I can, cause I love to buy stickers for my Hobonichi weeks and I can do that easily about once a month and not spend more than $10. I can buy some pretty doll stickers and, and including shipping and do that every month and not spend $10. But if there's like a month that I wanna buy something that costs more, then I can save for a few months and still have, you know, maybe go on sort of a spree for $30. So, and then I'll share with you guys all the other things that we'll be doing. And if you're interested, oh, I'm sorry, I'm cutting, forgetting, I wanted to tell you about. So like for planning, so it's about the time of year, it's August, September is when we start buying planners for the future year. So what I did do, one of those things that I bought that I felt like I needed is I bought one of each size of the different kind of basic, oh, can you see? <laughs> basic planners that they have at Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. And I bought those for 2020. And so I'm gonna be doing videos of each one of those of decorating them and using only dollar store stuff. So again, within my $10 budget, I've already got the planners. You can sometimes find stick um, washi in two or three in a package there and definitely sometimes at the 99 cent store. And then at Michael's will have three for a dollar. And so I, plus I have tons of supplies already. I don't need to ever buy anything else for probably in between now and whenever we go to Hawaii. So, um, but yeah, I'll be using up the stuff that I already have. And then I'll have that little small budget, $10 or so for whenever I want to DIY something and I need a supply item, you know, maybe it's paint or some tape or whatever, a certain color paper, some contact paper, something that, and I don't want to be able to not buy that thing to do it. So anyway, I will be uh, doing different DIYs that are planner related. And if you're interested in that, then be sure and watch that. I'll have a playlist for my no spin journey. And then if you're interested in any of the other things that we'll be doing or I'll be doing to not spend or barely spend to save money and cut back and what I did in pre previous years when I left my business, then let me know if you're interested in seeing uh, bonus videos every month in addition to my regular Wednesday and Friday publishing schedule. Just let me know that in the comments below and if so, I'll do some of those videos about once a month on my journey. All right. Oh, let me tell you, be sure and check me out on um, Etsy and if you subscribe to my channel, you get an additional discount for my Etsy shop where I make vegan traveler's notebooks and Traveler's Notebook accessories for all TNs. It doesn't matter what style, size, or material. And then I also make a bullet journal title pages that you can either print or I mail them to you on really nice 100 pound cardstock. I make also decorative journaling cards or planner cards that you can put in your all different kinds of planners and um, scrap, scrapbooks and things like that and journals and then I also make um, printable stickers and then if you're interested in following me on Instagram just go to at organized planner chic 
I have a Facebook group called Organized Planner Sheet Crew and there we do frequent giveaways and birthday exchanges and other gift exchanges. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And until next time, happy planning.